welcome back to my channel in today's video you're going to be learning how to use time tune this is my favorite time blocking app and it has been helping me work for three hours minimum after school on a consistent basis disclaimer that this app is only available for android but there's a very similar app called time block which is available for both android and ios This is the schedule section and it is where you're going to see the time blocks pop up and your routines. As you can see, it's going to tell you how long the activity is going to take, when it's going to start over here and when it's going to finish over here. This is for my EBQ time block. Now let's head to routines because I want to show you how those work. Now we're on the routine section. As you can see, I have two routines set up, but let's create a new one. We're going to call it eating schedule. And now we can choose if it's a weekly routine, which is going to be repeating every seven days, daily routine for specific days, and add a typical routine that is going to be completely customized. Let's stick to the weekly routine and click on accept. In here is where we're going to create our activities and we can choose any day we want of the week. Let's start with Monday. And to create a new activity, you press new activity. On the first section, you can choose what day. We're gonna stick with Monday. Choose a starting time, so for example, because this is our eating schedule, let's say I'm having breakfast at 7 and then I'm going to finish at 8. Now you can add a comment, so for example I can say read for at least 5 minutes during my breakfast. And then I can add some tags. So for example, I can put eating. The notifications, I'm going to let you experiment with that. All done. So now we can click on accept. We go back to routines. And we click on the activate button. So when we go to our schedule, it's going to show up on Monday. There we go. This is going to be repeating every single Monday until we turn this off but I'm going to delete this schedule now there are some extra features you can use like sharing you can also rename clone and delete and this is my favorite one by pressing here you can see how many hours you're using up every week with your schedule and the amount of time you have free this is so useful to plan out your day because it lets you know how much time you have left. Now we're on the block section. These are activities that are only going to occur once. You can create one with this button and choose a day over here. You can also delete the activities like this. This is a tag section. In here, you can see all of the tags you have created or the default tags, and you can create a new one over here. You can change the color. You can choose an icon and you can type a name. You can also do this when you're creating a new activity on new tag. Now I'm going to show you how I'm using this app. Let's start by going to my school routine in which I have added my timetable for school. I have included my breaks, 
my commuting, color coded my subjects, and even added where my class is on the comment section. On my free sessions, which are study periods, I can add an extra tag to know what I'm revising. At the end of each day, I can clearly see how many hours I have available over here. Now we're on the Pomodoro Try routine. In here, I have scheduled every single Pomodoro I want to do after school. This allows me to work for a long time without burning out thanks to small but regular breaks. And now that I have activated both routines on my schedule, they're going to merge together. And as you can see, both my school routine and my Pomodoro Try routine are showing up. So I hope this video was useful. This is personally my favorite app of this year to time block. I've used this so much, it has helped me become super productive. So I hope it helped you too. As always, see you on the next one. You wanna say anything?